you how to do it. Then when you come back, then you have to do it. And like, you know, like I said, if you do that on the second day, you're doing, you're done with the driving portion. Then everything else is in classroom. But if you're not done with the driving portion, then they usually have the people that's got to drive. When they come in in the morning, they come in first and go straight out to the driver. And then the people that's got the experience, we come in and uh, we go straight into the classroom and learn all the stuff that we need to learn, you know, stuff like that. Now, and then they kind of, yeah. Uh, go go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm just saying they, they kind of separate us after the, after the second day or so, you know, with the people that we don't be knowing what's going on. It's just like when we get ready to leave after about the second day, they say, okay, we want these people, these people, these people to get on this van and these people to get on this van. And then they tell us, well, we come in in the morning at seven o'clock or seven something. And these people are coming in at six something. So, you know, we're trying to figure out what's happening, but then we find out that those are the people that did not pass the driving portion or the, you know, the, you know, the, the portion of parking and, and all that. They still have the additional training. So they give them like two, you know, a couple more days to pass that driving part. Then, you know, you're going home. So I think we had about 40 people in our class and eight, eight people didn't make it. So for the people that didn't make it with well, Walmart, get you back home or you 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 or is that responsibility oh yeah on you? no they get you back home you know they'll still fly you back home you know like i said they just keep you separate a little bit because they don't want us to make them feel bad and whatever but you know we had somebody in the class that we knew that you know let us know what was going on you know that hey you know i didn't pass and and then as you're in your class Every once in a while, you'll get a new person come into your class that you're in and find out that they, they just passed, so now they get to add it on with us. But no, I mean, they still they still treat you with respect. It's just that they try to, you know, keep us separate so we don't be making someone feel bad or whatever. All right. So it's you You said that when you started, you, you started in a day cab, so you had to slip seed and everything. Uh, but when you was moved into the sleeper, you still had to slip. You still had to slip seat, slip seat in the sleeper too. Yeah, what they what they normally do is the brand new trucks. They're usually having um, you know single guys in them, but we're slip seating, and we're in brand new trucks. You know, we're you know it's three of us in two trucks. There's three of us in two trucks. You know because we're you know that truck's moving every day. Now the senior guys. A lot of those are in the older trucks, you know, like the 2017s and 18s. And they're allowed to, um, you know, a lot of them, they keep their own truck. They have a truck assigned to them. But when they're off, they still have to clean their truck out too because if we come to work and, you know, say for instance, our truck is in the shop or we decide to work an extra day. So they do allow you to work an extra day for like 175 extra dollars or something. And plus your regular pay, and all you got, all you need is like about six or seven hours to run, and you can work another day just to make one run and come back and get extra pay. But um, they can put us in another person's truck, so all the trucks are, you know, anybody can drive them, you know. So when when they're off, and a lot of people worry about clean, cleanliness and sanitation and all that stuff, but. You know, we have a credit card where we can go and buy whatever cleaning supplies we want, disinfectants, and they have a lot of stuff on hand. You know, uh, and it don't we don't pay anything out of pocket. And you know, you you know, you get in your truck, you spray it down with pine saw, wipe the floors up, and and uh, wipe the dash, you know, and stuff like that, and just clean it, you know, clean it up inside and try to make it clearer than what it was when you got it. And we just have a, a habit. Of making sure the truck is clean and smelling good for the next driver. So you, and if somebody's not doing that, you know, then they'll, you know, they'll tell them, "Hey, you need to do a little bit better." So you guys never take the trucks home. They they don't allow you to take the trucks no. home. No, we don't take the truck home. We bring that truck back to the yard. We have our parking spots where our truck is in a parking spot, and then when we come there, we pull that truck out of the parking spot and we put our cars, our personal vehicles, in the parking spot. And we go from there. So this, and every time we come in the gate, they check our temperature. 
So Walmart will be one of those companies that you actually have to own your own, uh, actually, actually, actually have to own a vehicle in order to get to the, uh, to the DC. No, not really. Somebody can trip, somebody can bring you up and drop you off and you can walk in, but it's just that you don't, you know, you have a parking spot where your truck is at. You don't have to have a vehicle. You just got to be able to get there. <laughs> That's what I mean. I mean, I mean, I I um, stay I, I stay in Cleveland. I think the only DC is the closest DC, with the exception of uh, Gas City, Indiana. But ain't there's one in um, uh, I forget. I know there's one here in uh in Ohio. Well, you got Washington Courthouse. Yeah, Washington you Courthouse. Got Washington Courthouse. And I'm thinking there's another one somewhere over there. I know you got Washington Courthouse. I can't. My mind is not thinking straight right now. So, do you have to be? But I know you got watching court. Do you got to be? You got to be within about two hundred and fifty miles. That's what I was about to ask. So you do have to be in a in a certain radius in order to get in order right. to get put on right. with Walmart. They don't. They don't want you to get up, drive all the way there, be fatigued or tired, and then go in a truck and then run 10, 11 hours like you're fresh. You know, and if you live too far away then, you know, they expect you to maybe come in the night before and maybe spend the night there so you can get up in the morning and drive. Because they do not want you driving time that doesn't account for, you know, on your logbook, but they want to make sure that you're rested because of the incident that happened with, um, what's his name? You remember that? Um, yeah, the accident with uh, uh, Tracy Morgan. Yeah, with Tracy Morgan because of that. You know, you're driving from this long distance but at the same time, it doesn't show on your logbook that you've been up all day. So now you're in there. And sometimes you can come in early, you know, and be able to sleep in your truck or whatever. Because I was working a night shift, you know, like 1130 and being done by 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. And, my, and, I, and I, you know, and, uh, you know and, and that truck don't go back out until that next night. So sometimes if I wanted to, I can come in. You know, they don't want you in there no more than two hours before you're supposed to go out. But a lot of times what I did, I might come in there two, three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, sneak over to my truck and go to sleep in my truck. And then, you know, and then wake up about 10, 10 30 and get ready to, you know, go on my run. So after the first year, because, you know, you, you coming in, you getting the you getting the feel for the company and everything. But definitely after the second and third year, can 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 a person garner anywhere between uh, ninety and six figures? Well, yes. With the day cap, I'm coming in guaranteed to make seventy seven thousand dollars. And then with me, I had less than two years. And with me, honestly, I haven't worked since June, uh, and I was on uh, disability, getting seventy five percent. Well, this year or last year, I still cleared about seventy nine. I mean, I still grossed about seventy nine thousand. So I was up in that in that area where I probably could have made at least uh, eighty eighty five thousand easily. You know, because I lose I lose on uh, on uh, disability. I lose a good thousand um, dollars easily every two uh, uh, every month. All right, so let's talk about some safety precautions uh, with Walmart, especially after the after the Tracy Morgan incident, because I think Tracy Morgan cracked Walmart big, and they they oh, defi yeah. oh, they yeah, definitely they definitely had to they definitely had to go back and and do some tightening up and everything. So uh, with their trucks, uh, cameras inside outside, yeah, cameras? we have cameras. We have cameras, but they only face outside. All right. Outside. You know, the drivers were not going to put up with cameras facing them. You know, they were going to have a mutiny, <laughs> 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 you know, for invasion of privacy. So they definitely don't have cameras looking at you. All right. The cameras are looking outside. And if you had, like, you know, hit the rumble strip or mm -hmm. or something like that or or, or, or a quick accelerate or, or de, uh, you know, decelerate or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a possibility that camera can trigger and pick up the, the last, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds or whatever, you know, uh, what led up to that. So they can tell what happened 
you know, that caused that, you know, that incident. You know, it could be a hard braking, uh, you know, where you hit your brakes real quick and stop real quick and that'll trigger it. And it could be, you know, you know, because that those uh, the newer trucks, if you kind of uh, fade off the road, it'll it'll beep, letting you know that you're like off the road. You know, I mean, you know, for a second, and that can trigger. It. And believe it or not, that camera can read speed limit signs. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past it. <laughs> so if you're going down the road and your truck is going. 40, 45, 45 miles an hour, that camera and see a 35 mile an hour sign, it can probably, it can actually say, you know, it'll beep and let you know that you're speeding. And, you know, you got so many seconds to bring it down, you know, where it won't register. But if you keep on speeding uh, for a certain amount of time, it'll register. And then they may call you in the office and say, hey, you know, we show you right here, you know, running five miles over the speed limit, then they'll give you like a warning. You know, you might get two or three warnings before you get some type of deduction, more or less, you know, right. Like a reprimand. Cause you know, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're eligible for a um, safety bonus, like every quarter or something like that, which is equivalent to so many days off work or whatever, you know? And so, you know, you can utilize that stuff at the end of the year. If you don't use it, you can get, you can cash, you can cash your days off in for cash. All right. So you what, know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't take the days off. All right. So let's continue on with uh, Walmart safety precautions. And the biggest one uh, that people was, uh, was rejoicing over this year or last year, if I'm not mistaken, is the new cell mm-hmm. phone policy. The previous policy didn't I mean Walmart didn't want you guys on the phones at all, right? Well, we can get on the phone. We're only allowed to talk one hour while we're on shift. Mm-hmm. Okay, and one phone call cannot last over ten minutes. Mm. That's that. So you is can that, have is is this part of the new policy now? Well, that's what it was when I started. Okay, you know, that you was can the get old the policy, right? Yeah, I don't know anything about the new change. I mean, I haven't heard anything since June. But the old policy was you could use the telephone, but you can only use it for sixty minutes in any given shift. But you cannot use it no more than um, you know um, ten minutes at one time. Well, they they do have a. I, I talked to a, a recent uh, Walmart driver, and yeah, they did change the uh, full uh, phone policy. Uh, oh, so don't, okay. Don't well, let I need me, to call in hey, to the office. Listen, don't don't let me. You know, don't don't quote me. I'm just I'm just going well, by. Well, you know, here, I'm gonna so. call in the office tomorrow and say, hey, what's the new phone policy? Right. You know, because you know, yeah, and you have to have hands free. You can't hold it in your hand, mm-hmm. and there is no. You cannot do any texting while you're in a driving mode. All right. So let me ask you now. You know me. Now let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Is it true that Walmart you have to sign some type of document giving Walmart permission to look at your phone? Well, if Walmart, yes. If Walmart suspect that you're uh, using your phone while you know, if something happens, they can request. They can request that you um, call your cell phone company or whatever and, and and get a report of, you know, your phone log and like, you know, how long you've been on it and, and everything like that. But they may only do it for a specific day, you know, like this day or whatever or yesterday. yesterday. And if they request that, can I get another? Yeah, if they request that, then you you have to give it to them and, you know, or, you know, you could be, you know, Terminated. fired. Okay, okay. So that is true. But they're, you know, they're basically telling you that, you know, they don't want you on the phone over 10 minutes. And, and yes, they can request for your phone All record. Right. All right, man. Walmart. So, again, man, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post, uh, you know, post your, you know, post your post in the in the description of this uh, podcast, man. Um was is there is there now 
usually they call it a sign on bonus, but I, I'm I'm just gonna go in here and start calling the retention bonus because they don't pay it out right away. So is there is there well, something like that with Walmart? Well, let me tell you about Walmart. Walmart has a, a, a sign on bonus different from any company. Most companies will give you a big old sign on bonus. They'll give you a little bit now, a little bit next month, a little bit next month, and it may pay out over a year. And so if you don't get it done in a year and if somebody quit or don't work there anymore, you don't get all your bonus. Now, believe this or not, and this is the truth, when you start working at Walmart, you start getting paid on day one. Your medical benefits are day one. And if you go through that training, which is five days on the first week, and if you happen to be at one of the places that offered a $8,000 bonus, at the end of that first week, you get $4,000 after the first week. You get the other $4,000 after six months with Walmart. But from what I heard, the only thing about that is you, you, are, you are liable. I mean, you, you are um, obligated to be with Walmart for two years if you get an $8,000 bonus. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So... Uh, the, right. the going in and uh, the going in and finish up this conversation because I know you're a busy guy and I do appreciate you taking the time and coming on and uh, talk chopping it up with me about your experience with Snyder and Walmart and thank you for your service, uh, brother man. I really do appreciate that as well. Um, with Walmart, is, is it true that Walmart, you know, even though that you know we talked about the 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 guy. Uh, leaving Walmart for whatever reasons that he left for, but do Walmart have do Walmart have a high turnover there or no? No, they do not have a high turnover. If you come to work for Walmart, most guys at Walmart will stay. If you look at my um my um uh, um um you know my my extra posts, there most people come to Walmart. They either they either um they stay and retire.